Welcome back to Love Me For Classic and if you're new to my channel I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put out new videos every week on some Jaguar and classic car related content. In today's video we'll hopefully get my daily driver in 1975 XJ6 back on the road. The previous video was diagnosed a bad alternator and I got some comments that you, some of you guys thought I had a bit of a backwards way of diagnosing it. And it might be true, but it's just because in my mind it made sense because I've had a car like this in the past, the exact same XJ6, where the issue was with a bad connection at the bulb up there. Because uh, that car, I was actually out driving then, I noticed that the car wasn't charging, I pulled over and noticed that the ignition light wasn't coming on with the ignition, pulled the cover off, I wiggled the bulb, came back on, put the cover back on, and I was able to uh, drive home and then replace the bulb later. So I thought that was the issue, but I think it's actually not. It's the alternator's back, because I've checked all the wiring and everything, like you saw in that video, and all of that seems fine. Uh, like I mentioned in the video, it wasn't the greatest time for me to just have a failed alternator, because I just had to replace the alternator on my wife's car, and I just got a bunch of uh, bunch of service parts for the uh, XJ40 Daimler behind me here, and I mean, I'm just a normal person with, of course, a limited amount of money I can spend on my hobby, which is the cars, and I can't really, you know, spend a ton of money on it, because, you know, I have a family, I have a house, I have everything, mortgage. Um, so, I was really, really lucky that a friend of the channel, Steve, who runs a classic car shop pretty nearby called English Car Care, I'll put a link to their, um, to their Facebook page for their website down below, so you can check them out if you're near here in the area of the south of Sweden and you need some work done to any British car, they're a great place to uh, go and get some work done. Uh, he sent me a message that he had two used alternators, one from an uh, XJ12 and one from XJ6. They were completely untested. He had no idea if they worked, but he said that um, he was going to throw them out so I could have them if I want to. And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. And I was really lucky that he was actually uh, over the weekend um, driving around in the area where I live so he could drop them off, which was very nice of him. He also dropped off this, which is really cool. They just scrapped a very rusty Series 2 XJ6. And he knows that the Series 2 is my favorite Jaguar XJ, so he got the grill for me. I'm going to hang it up on the wall, so in the future videos you'll see this grill on the wall, which is super cool. And he also, when he watches uh, the videos, he noticed the magazines I have behind here and he thought, you know, I don't have that many. So he got, went through um, his old magazines and he got me a whole bunch. So now I have reading for the whole summer. So thanks again, Steve, for that. Thank you for the alternators and thank you for the things. So we're going to head on over to the car now and remove the old alternator and see which of the used ones seems okay to use. Put it on and hopefully it will work. Also, speaking of uh, donations to the channel, I had a subscriber and also a patron of the channel contact me um, a couple weeks ago that he had something cool he wanted to send me completely free of charge and I was like are you sure and it's very very generous of you. He's like yeah he wants to donate to the channel so he sent it over and about a week or so it arrived and it's sitting in the back of the workshop so wait until the end of the video and we'll unbox and open that together and have a look what he sent us. But now let's head over to the barn and have a look at the XJ6. My XJ40 Daimler is blocking my main workshop, so I'm over here in the barn. I already took the old alternator out, and that's the one over here. And like I mentioned, a good friend of the channel brought me two used units. They're completely untested. I don't know anything about them. Um, but, you know, they worked on the cars when the cars were last used, at least. So this is from an XJ6. Series 2, and this I think is from an XJ12 Series 3. I think I'm going to try to fit this one because this would be a more powerful alternator. Also, um, it's kind of hard to hear here, but when I listen to both of them, it, I mean, they both sound pretty good, but this one, the bearing sounds a little more quiet. It's actually the bearing this one is more quiet than the one I took off the car. So I think this one is going to work well. I hope so. What I've already done is I removed the connector here, the big one, and I put that on over there. And I just verified, just really quickly clean off the connections and kind of test to that. I think it's going to work. So I'm going to take this one just over to the other workshop, just clean off some of this, blow it out with some compressed air. It's full of spider webs. Just get some of the worst dirt off here. But like I mentioned, this is just a temporary solution for now to get the car back on the road. I mean, I am going to put a refurbished one on there later. It's just I might end up putting a more powerful on there if I'm going to do AC and other things. So maybe this one could be one that I want to 
get restored later or have a look at it. Or maybe this one just works just fine. But it's being a V12 one, it's more powerful. I think that's a good thing. So I'm gonna go clean this one up, then we'll put it back on the car and fingers crossed that it works. That looks a little cleaner and it's almost back in place. There's no real trick to replacing alternate on this car. It's pretty easy. The one thing I find is useful is to remove, completely remove the tension here. I just undo this bolt to completely remove it. I'm about to put it back now. Just because it can kind of get in the way and especially if you have a brand new fan belt, it can be pretty tight. So completely remove that so you can shove the alternator all the way up, get the fan belt on. So I'm going to put this tensioner back on and then the bolt that goes over here and then tension it all back up and hook up the electricals and hopefully it's going to work. Okay, so it's a few minutes later. Everything is hooked up now. All the connections on the alternator, the battery is hooked back up. I tightened the fan belt and everything. So. Moment of truth, let's see if we have the ignition light. And yes, we do. So let's see if it charges now. All right, the ignition light goes out and charging is coming up. So let's get that to the battery and put a multimeter on it and see if it's charging. And we have around 14.5 volts, so it's definitely charging. And we have no weird noises coming from the alternator. No vibrations or anything. Seems to be working really well. And the voltage meter in the car is showing charging as well. So everything is working as it should. A couple weeks ago, a subscriber and patron of the channel contacted me that he had some seats left over from a restoration that he thought that maybe I could have some use for and he wanted to donate to the channel. And really generously, he packaged everything up and sent it off to me and it arrived here. I haven't opened it up yet because I wanted to open it up on the camera for you guys. The only thing I've done is I've ripped off the uh, address label so you can't see, uh, you know, of course, my address and Clemens' address. So I have a scissors here. Let's open up one of these and see what's inside. All right, so I think I have all the plastic off now, so let's remove the cover here. And... and it's definitely a Series 2 XJ seat, but I do believe it's even more special than that. If you have a look here on the side, as so you can see, it's a coupe seat. So. These are from a Series 2 XJ12 Coupe. And when he was restoring his car, which looks beautiful, I've seen pictures of it, he found some better seats and he put those in the car. But, you know, these are definitely restorable and I might use them for some project. I'm not really sure. Maybe they'll go in um, something I have now or maybe they'll go in a future car. I've, I mean, I've always dreamt of having a, a Coupe or these an XJ Coupe. I think they're excellent, excellent cars. They're fantastic. So really cool to have these. So there's a matching seat in the other one. As you see, there is you know a rip here and a rip there, but other than that, they don't look that bad. Or maybe they won't go in a car. Maybe I'll make some kind of cool, you know, furniture, some cool seats out of them, some you know, cool armchairs. And that's it for this episode. And after about 10 or 15 minutes of tinkering, the XJ6 is back on the road and is charging, and everything seems to be working well. I will take it on a longer test drive later and I'll put an update on my Instagram so you guys can check that out. If you're not following me, I try to do uh, daily or at least every other day updates on the channel, what happens behind the scenes. I'll put a link to my Instagram page down below. Otherwise, you can search for it. It's called Living With A Classic. So once again, a big thank you to Steve for supplying the alternators. Uh, so I got the car back on the road and for the magazines and for this, this cool grill here. And a huge thank you as well to Clemens for sending me those seats. They're really cool. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them right now. Uh, if they're going to go into maybe a future project or maybe there'll be some cool chairs here on the channel. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them, but I'll let you guys know when I decide. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And until next time, I'm Adam and this was Living With The Classic. I'll see you soon.